Hello, my name is Tim Clark, founder of Corazon Oilfield Services. Welcome to Coring 101. This week is episode 1, What is Coring? Coring, in simple terms, is the acquisition of intact samples of reservoir rock which are more representative of the downhole environment than cuttings. This can be done in two ways. Acquisition through a conventional rotary coring system or through sidewall coring. Conventional rotary coring is the running of a specialist drilling assembly to cut a column of reservoir rock and bring it back to surface. When running a coring BHA, a special drill bit called a core head is run. It is a drill bit without a center. Modern coring does not utilize roller cones, but PDCs, diamond and impreg bits. Above the core head is the core barrel, which is assembled from two major parts, an inner and outer core barrel. The outer core barrel is essentially a large diameter steel drill pipe for some systems as little as 3 eighths of an inch under gauge and is regularly stabilized, typically every 30 feet. Within the outer core barrel is the inner core barrel, which is generally made of aluminium in order to minimize friction between the inner core barrel and the core. The inner barrel is suspended from the inner head bearing assembly, which allows the outer barrel to rotate while keeping the inner barrel stationary. As the core head cuts away the formation, it leaves a cylinder of reservoir rock. While the core head makes hole, the inner core barrel moves over the core to provide protection. Upon completion of coring, the drill pipe is tripped and the core barrel is recovered to surface. Cores typically range in diameter from 1 and 3 quarter inch to 5 and a quarter inch and are usually cut in 30 feet increments. Cores in excess of 600 feet have been successfully cut, though 90 to 180 feet is more usual depending on factors such as formation, hole size, and coring BHA used. Wireline sidewall coring is the acquisition of plug samples from the wall of the borehole, taken as part of the open hole wireline logging program, and can be acquired from multiple zones of interest. Sidewall cores typically measure from 1 and 1 8 of an inch to 1 and 3 quarter inch in length, and 11 16 of an inch to 1 inch in diameter. Sidewall cores are typically taken after logs have been run, usually near the end of the open hole wireline logging operation. This gives the geologists time to pick core depths after consulting the logs to identify zones of interest in which to take the samples. In the next episode, we'll look at why we core. But in the meantime, remember, core is our only opportunity to touch the reservoir.